Hello. This video is about walls. Walls in Revit. In this video, I will cover all the details regarding walls and what are the main tools which we need to know about creating or modeling tools in Revit. In this figure, you can see that walls are just not the barriers. They are the backbone of our structures or in this figure it is a house. So we need to know about all the things, all the important things regarding walls as we have to use walls in everywhere in modeling in Revit. Okay. I will cover how to create a wall, how to edit profiles of wall and how we can create the attach of walls and how we can create a base constraint, top constraint and all the things in this video. Okay, let's go to the video. First, this is the way of designing or modeling or creating a wall in Revit. For that, we have to create, we have to select wall under the architecture tab this is the tool this is the wall tool it's under the architecture tab okay i select it when i select that wall tool you can see that this bar is changing look at that i will click escape button you can see that there is no any option bar there when i select that wall tool uh, there are a few options here and you can see that in properties window we can see the properties of wall we are going to model okay. first I create a wall here ah, this is a wall and you can see that it's created This is just creating walls. Okay. When I create in walls, we can just select the tool and create the wall. But when we are practicing it, we understand that that is not just creating walls after selecting the tool. We need to edit some settings and we have to set the tools correctly for our designs. What do you think about the height of this wall? Ah, we did not consider about that height of the wall. No? And what is the level we are creating these walls? Ah, we did not consider about it. So the correct way is we have to consider these all the things when we are creating walls. Okay, for that. I delete this walls I created in project browser we have to select the level we want to create or we want to model walls I select this level one to see all levels you have to click this elevations this thing. Uh, our level one is at zero level and our level 2 is the height of the level 2 is 4000 millimeters how we can see the how we can check the units here for that we have to go to this manage tab and project units my units are millimeters areas are in square meters and volume like that okay so i select level 1 then I select my tool wall here you can see that modify place wall so this is actually under this modify place wall tab before creating these walls you have to select uh, it's a height or depth what's the mean of it if you select depth it means that the wall is creating 
some height under the level we select if you select height it's from that level the height is the height we are select the next button is unconnected the level is level 1 our base or the the level we create in the ball is level 1 and here this is the top constraint or the top level of the ball here there are three options here level 1 level 2 and unconnected these are the levels we have created and this unconnected means the top of the ball is not connected with any of the level it's just it's the just height of the wall you can see that the wall is little bit thicker the height of the wall is one meter if i create a wall with 5000 millimeters it's like this you can see that it's higher than that thousand millimeter wall okay now we know that now we know that this is about height and this is unconnected and if you if you select unconnected we have to select this height or we have to type height okay now I select the top level as level 2 and you can see that this option is now blind automatically it rise up to level 2 okay let's check in 3d view you can see that oh, there are difference there are difference height to check the levels of that walls we have to go for the elevations you can see that this is the pressed wall we created with 1000 millimeter height and this is the one we created with 5000 millimeters and this is the wall we created with top top constraint or the top level as level 2 okay let's discuss what is the difference between unconnected and this top constraint as level 2 okay let's see i will change the level of level 2 as 3500 millimeter okay then i enter it you can see that the wall we created with top, top constraint as level 2 is the wall only changing with that level change okay now you can understand what's the difference between that top level see, uh, keeping unconnected and selecting a level if you need to add another level you have to select that two level tool under the architecture tab this is the level two you can add another level here now it is level three okay now you can understand that we can select base level as well as top level to create a wall okay let's see if i select depth what's happening there okay depth and it is unconnected and it's 3500 in depth let's see what happens you can't see it this in this level but in elevations you can see that this is the height is to measure the heights you can use this annotation tools in annotate tab as this one is about walls I will describe that dimension annotate tab in later videos here the height of the wall is 3500 okay now we know that 
how to create how to create a wall with depth or height and this one is another option there it is location line what is that location line okay let's see there are five there are six options there first one is that is automatically selected as wall center line you can see that when we are clicking and dragging it to see it just select that height option otherwise you cannot see the wall we are creating you can see that the wall is creating along the center line of the drone okay let's see let's i will change it to co center line nothing change no because here the default co center and the wall center is same but here finish face exterior oh, okay let you can see that the wall is creating not keeping the line we draw in as the center line that line is the outer line outer line of the wall what's the difference between this wall center line and finish face exterior let's see try draw a rectangular shape wall by using this location line wall center line okay i am creating this 5000 distance of walls okay. this is 5000 distance the length of the wall is 5000 okay. I'm creating like this this is 5000 you can type it and enter then the creating wall is 5000 then again 5000 5000 and this is the rectangular shape Okay. let's see you can see that the distance between center lines are 5000 you can see that the center line distance are 5000 but let's check that the distance between outer walls are now 5200 and the distance between inner walls are 4800 now you can understand that when we are drawing or when we are creating 5000 by 5000 and by the 5000 wall means not the interior distance or the exterior distance but let's check with this one finish space exterior okay i will type 5000 again 5000 here 5000 and again 5000 now you can see that when you are clicking on this one the temporary dimensions are activated the distance between center lines are 4000 4800 but you can see that to measure the distance you have to select annotate then this align the linear measurement tools the distance between outer walls are now 5000 and the inner walls are it is 4600 
Now you can understand the difference between these location lines. And let's check what are the other location lines. You can see finish face exterior. Okay, sorry, finish face interior. Let's check that. I'm creating just 5000 moles here. 5000. 5000. 5000. And this one is 5000. Let's check that. You can see that these temporary dimensions show that the distance between center lines are 5200 it means not that 5000 you can see now the distance between interior goals are 5000 that's the difference between these two goals the location line of this one is center line this one is finish face exterior Space exterior exterior and this one is finish face interior okay. now we know what is the differences with what are the differences between location line locations there are few other options too those are also little bit same with these options okay now let's see what is the next option there oh, we can change that checkbox chain the option is chain okay I'll delete these things now I select that ball too I'm drawing with that checkbox is checked now okay it's like this the walls are now like chain it means when we are drawing and I click here and then I click there the other wall is already started there but if I un uncheck this one you can see that when I create this wall uh, the next wall is not start to create there we have to click again to start the wall that's the difference between that chain option okay again what is that I click that checkbox chain because it is very easy when I using when I creating balls using this chain option offset here offset means when we are creating balls along line you can see that when the offset is thousand the wall is creating wall is creating with the offset or the with the different the distance between the, the drawing line and the creating wall is thousand by pressing the space bar we can change the side of the wall creating you can see that when I press my space bar it's changing change the location around the line we are drawing okay what is the next one that one is radius radius is for some other tools I will explain it join status join status oh, there are two options there allow and disallow this means when we draw when we draw walls or create walls under that join status is allow you can see that that joint is creating you see that the join the joint of the wall are created already when i use that this hello one it's like this
you can see that that joint is not well connected and if i click on this one and i i try to move it by my arrow keys the all the other walls are also adapting according to the movement of that wall but that wall is if that wall is created under the disallow option you can see that the other walls are not adopted or changing according to the wall we are moving that's the difference between that allow and disallow option okay now we know that the all the things in this bar okay now i am going to create different shapes of wall for that press i select wall then under this modify and place wall tab you can see that under the draw panel there are a few options here you can see that this one is just a line that the that line is the tool that line was the tool we are using until now then there's a tool rectangle rectangle uh, by using that we can create four walls at once as rectangle or square that quadrilateral shape okay by using that inscribe polygon we can create walls like this at once and if you need if you need more and more sides you can change it here if you use that eight sides uh, here the circle or the radius is inscribed means all the vertices are touching the circle we are using or oh, the radius the the radius is the dimension we are giving it means the, this walls mean the the polygon is inscribed with the circle of 9000 mm radius what are the other tools under that draw panel this is a circle it's just two well, circular walls and the, this is we can use this tool to draw arc walls like this you can see in 3d view those walls are like this These are also in darks, and this one is tangent like, and this one is for ellipse like course. This is also partial ellipse and pick lines. This is this is an important tool. If you are drawing like this by using the line tool, this pick. If you need a wall, let's think that there is a line. It means this is this may be a reference line or grid line or something. You can create a wall by referring this one using our wall tool pick line. It means when you are picking this one, there is a wall there. We can create a wall. And if we if we need a wall that must be creating offset or some distance away from that line, you can see that oh, it's like that like that oh, you can see that you can draw we can create walls either sides of the line this tool is for pick, pick faces to create a wall using that pick faces you have to use gen create walls using faces of a mass or generic model for that you need a mass model or generic model if you change the mass face walls created using the wall by face tool do not automatically update to update the wall select it and click update to face okay now you know how to draw different shapes of walls when we are drawing walls how we can exit from the tool for that you have to press enter button or press or double press the escape button 
ESC Bio. Okay, now I'm going to create openings in walls. How to create openings in wall? This is the wall. These are the walls I have created. This is a wall. Okay, let's think that I need the wall. I need to open. They are with the round shape or ellipse shape or any other shape. How we can do it? For that, trust you need to select that wall. And then this is the tool we are using to create openings in walls so that click on it and this is now this is just a 2d sketch or 2d diagram of that profile of the wall my suggestion is if you are going to change the profile do it in that elevations view you can see that when i select east view we can see only one line it means the wall is parallel to the east view so i select north view if you are going to change the profile with any shape you have to create close shape close shape otherwise if you are drawing shapes like this this may be an error when you are finishing the model I put some circular opens I put some ellipsic ellipse shape opens like that let's check this shape is not closed I put that tick and error cannot be ignored lines must be in closed loops the highlight lines are open on one end you can see that this end is open so I need to close it okay after drawing your shapes of openings you have to click that finish edit mode tick okay now the world is consisted with those openings you can see that that's the way of creating openings in walls. If you, if you need and if you need to change the shape of walls, it means shape of that profile, that also can be done. Like this, if you, are, if you like to round the top of the wall like this. Like this, you can you can do it. Revit did such a powerful tool. The wall is wall tool is very powerful tool. We can do anything regarding walls here. Now we know all the tools regarding this modify and place wall tab and some other tools. These tools may be familiar with you with the time. We'll discuss another few tools like this I use that walls and this modify tool look at this if you are drawing two walls like that we can trim we can trim it like that we can trim it like that If we need to separate few part of wall, we can click on the place we need to separate it. Then this wall part is another part that one is separated from that wall. And if you need the space with it. The wall shape is like this the second one is with the space and if I delete this part 
click on it and delete, you can delete that part separate. And when you are drawing walls or creating walls, you can see few things in this property set. When I select that walls tool, the properties window show in that there are few types of walls. By clicking on this one, you can see that there are many types of walls under that wall tool. I select this exterior wall type like this. You can see that there are few changes, differences between that our previous one and this one. If I select that, detail level as fine, you can see that. You can see that there are a few layers here. In realistic view, you can see that there are a few layers here. But here, only one layer like that. How we can, how we can add these layers? Okay, let's see. When I click wall tool, under that properties window, you can see that there is a button edit type. Okay, you can see that. There are many things we can edit of these walls. I select that structure, edit. You can see that these are the layers in these walls. If I add another layer, that layer is adding to this wall. And if we are de deleting any layer, that is reducing from this wall. If I delete that substructure plywood, you can see that that layer was deleted. And I metal to I, if I yeah. It is not allowing to delete the major things. Finishes, we can delete. You can see that the shapes also get changed. Like that, we can do many adjustments which we need in this creating walls. You can see that graphical shapes. We can say we can change. These are analytical properties like absorptance, heat transfer, roughness, like this. These are graphical changes and material and finishes. In some occasions, these are blinded, but in some walls, we can edit it. This is blinded because there are many, many material types inside the wall. We can change it using that edit button. You can see that there are the material types are. There are many material types using in this wall. And these are identity data. You can type anything or you can type the things you needed here. You can type it as exterior or something you need. It does not affect any graphical or other, other things regarding that wall, but it is for identity data. When you are selecting this tool, you can see there are many options in that windows, properties windows too. You can see that location line, uh, that, that's the thing we are selecting here, location line. Base constraint, base constraint, here level 1 is defaulting because we are selecting level 1. If you need level 2, you can draw, you can create walls. In the base constraint, with the base constraint level 2 in our drawing. The thing is you can't see it, but you can see it in elevations. Uh, you can see that this is the wall we created on the level 2 base constraint. Okay, Let's see what are the other options you can see in properties window. Base offset. Oh, what's that? Base offset means if we are selecting any offset here, or if we are seeing that uh, 1500 base offset, let's check what happened.
this is the wall we created the base offset is 1500 you can see that the base offset is 1500 and if we select this one and change properties like that this is up to level 2 it's like that and the top constraint is level 2 and the top offset is another 1000 millimeters uh, you can understand that it's changing with the changes we are doing in this properties window there are a few other options you may understand those things with, the, with your practice and now I have covered all the basic things you need need to know about walls in Revit and put comments put any comments if you need if you need any guidance or if you have any question regarding the walls in Revit put any comment and I will I will explain explain things for any problem you have and thank you and we will see again with another new video thank you goodbye